welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for joining me this is the seventh video in my origin series which explores family history research and several of the haplo groups that exist in my paternal and maternal genetic groups the series includes a few how-to videos how to begin researching your family history how to record and source the data you collect how to get past those early parish records, break down walls, and how to publish your family history. These are all videos planned over the coming weeks. So if any of the subjects interest you, then please keep watch for those upcoming videos. This series of videos goes live every Monday at 12 noon British Standard Time. Today's video takes a look at my four times great-grandfather Henry Harris and his paternal Y-DNA haplo group a group called RM269 the age of the mutation of M269 is estimated at roughly 4,000 to 10,000 years this group pliogenetically is classified as R1B1A 1b. The haplo group is of particular interest for the genetic history of Western Europe being the most common European haplo group. It increases in frequency on an east to west gradient. Its prevalence in Poland is estimated at around 22.7% compared to Wales at 92.3%. It is carried by approximately 110 million European men. It is believed and from recent study that the genetic group came right at the beginning of the Neolithic revolution. For anyone who shares this Y DNA, you're in for a treat as there has been extensive research into this subclade and plenty of DNA groups. My own Harris ancestry is part of one such group and it is believed the family have roots in Wales. Through this line, I know as far back as eight generations, but I will talk more on that later. Firstly, let's take a look at some of the ancient and prehistoric links that share this DNA haplogroup. There are 85 known samples recorded on the ancient DNA website and they are all pretty much continental Europe or Russian, including an interesting sample from Egypt. This Egyptian sample came from a mummy dating from the pre protolemic period. The Protolemies were the longest and most recent Egyptian dynasty of ancient origin and was founded in 305 BC by Plotemi I Sota, a companion of Alexander the Great. The Egyptian mummy was found in the ancient city of Thebes, located in present-day Luxor. The Y DNA haplogroup RM269 has also been found extensively through ancient samples discovered in Germany. These samples belong to the Belbica culture. Some of the skeletons found and analysed were from the village of Kromsdorf, Thuringia, Germany. The Belbica culture is an archaeological culture named after the inverted Belbica vessel used at the very beginning of the European Bronze Age, arising from around 2800 BC. In France, the haplogroup has been discovered in skeletons that belonged to the La Tène culture. La Tène was a European Iron Age culture. It developed and flourished during the late Iron Age, from about 450 BCE to the Roman conquest in the first century BCE. Interestingly, this DNA group is also associated with both Danish and Swedish Vikings. There are lots of samples discovered from skeletal remains found in both Skara and Karda, Sweden, and Sealand, Denmark. The Viking Age, 793 to 1066 AD, was a period during the Middle Ages when Norsemen, known as Vikings, undertook large-scale raiding, colonizing, 
conquest and trading throughout Europe and even reaching North America. RM269 has also been associated with the Coburn culture and the East Slavs in Russia, which is interesting as a very famous Russian dynasty carries that haplogroup, the Romanov family. And from excavating and studying the remains of Nicholas II of Russia, who was murdered alongside all of his family in 1918, possibly including the famous Anastasia, it was discovered that he belonged to the subclade RM269. If no illegitimacy breaks exist in his tree paternally, Nicholas II descends from Elimar I, Count of Oldenburg, who was born in 1040 and died in 1112. Through the male Oldenburg lineage, we also find King Christian I of Denmark, born 1426 and died in 1481. His daughter, Margaret, went on to marry King James III of Scotland. Nicholas II, last Tsar of Russia, is not the only famous monarch to have had his genome tested. Three of the kings belonging to the history of Hanover have too. These include King George I, King George IV, and William IV. In my own lineage, I can trace my Harris line back to my eighth great-grandfather, Henry Harris of Ewhurst, Surrey. He was born in 1655 and died in 1707. From the Harris DNA project, it has been suggested that the Harris family may have originated in Wales, which is certainly very likely when you consider that 92.3% of Welsh men share their male Y DNA with that one subclade RM269. The following DNA origin videos I have planned includes my maternal haplogroup K1A1A, my paternal haplogroup RYP417, and the following haplogroups that I have identified of which belong to my ancestors, including IS17250, RCTS2509, K1B1A1A, and IZ138. The last one is an interesting one, as the DNA is Viking in origin. So, if you're interested in genetic DNA, then please watch out for those forthcoming videos. Next week is the eighth video in this origin series, and I will be taking a deep dive into British census records, so please watch out for that. Until next week, a big thank you for joining me. Stay safe, keep well, and bye for now. Bye everyone.